Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Imperator Rome as Bactria in our Bactria campaign. So, last we left off, we were about to declare war on the Solicit Empire. Um, these guys have Parthia as a client state. Parthia is not loyal to to the Solicits, and the Solicits are actually in a serious civil war here. They are fighting. Uh, let's see, they're fighting all that. Yeah, so every, every, everywhere from Atropatine to over here in Sigarsha, these guys are getting absolutely demolished. So we're gonna declare our independence war now. We will have to reorganize our economy a little bit. Um, but let's go and declare. So we're gonna lose a lot of import routes. So yeah, so we are importing quite a bit from the solicits. Um, so let's take a look here <clears throat> real fast. We wanna, we wanna double check that we have the necessary goods that we need for research and such in our capital province. Now we can't get papyrus, unfortunately. We can no longer also get earthenware either. So that's that's unfortunately. Um uh, that's unfortunate. But we can get what can we grab? We may want this heavy infantry discipline. Um supply limits probably not a bad idea. We do have, let's see. We got a decent amount of slaves here. So slave output may not be a bad idea. Thinking, hmm, local manpower, like cavalry discipline, each surplus in the province, local manpower. Let's grab some iron, actually. I think that should give us, does that give us surplus in the capital, heavy infantry discipline? I think it should. Unless we need more or something. Let's see, we don't have anything for, as far as happiness. I mean, I'm thinking the slave output probably is, is not bad. At least until we can get papyrus and earthenware. Um, slave output probably is not too shabby. Let's see, we have Freeman here, so we can probably grab for them some honey so for some local Freeman output. We have a lot of Freeman here as well in Bactria itself. Uh, we're actually out of civic power. Okay, so we can't do anything more to that. Okay, so our armies, our, our economy is going to be, actually our economy is not too bad. Our army is going to move into, uh, we're going to move into Parthia. He's got two forts. We're going to take those forts and then we need to secure the province of uh, Arya, which is this area here. It looks like somebody's coming after it. We're going to go ahead and move in there anyway. Um... Let's try and secure area first, and then we'll, we'll come back for Parthia. In fact, actually, I could probably... Ooh, the ship of state. Let's see, the renowned philosopher Sam Tish Arzunian believes that the world will never be free of its evils until the kings and princes of this world have the spirit and power of philosophy. You know what? I, I wouldn't mind that. We don't need legitimacy. I actually would not mind that oratory power, so I'm actually going to go and take that. Um... You know what I'm probably going to do here is I'm going to split these forces. Let's let's give one of these armies to... Who's, who's somebody that's loyal to me? This guy's not bad. Um, so we're going to split these guys. We're slowly going to kind of eat our way west, I think. Yeah. I do like how that sounds. Um, let's see. This is in... This is in Bactra. Okay, so we can't get anything for... Can't get anything for... Unfortunately, for citizen happiness, we can't get that local slave output, though, so I'll take that. And... We do a lot of Freeman here. We'll see what we can get there. Yeah, so let's just go for... Let's just go for area. We'll see if we can secure that position. Um, and we're just... We're slowly going to occupy our way west into Parthia. Um, the Solicids, he's got 28 cohorts, but he's got no manpower. He's got a lot of money, so he could potentially get a lot of mercs, but I, I really don't even know if he's going to do that. So, I think we're going to be just fine here. I think we're going to do just fine. Um, Sigarshia is this little state here. Let's see. Age finds us all in the end. Uh, oh, no. Our ruler's dementia. Hmm. I'm hoping we don't get a succession during this war, because that would be unfortunate. We do have a son, though. I think we actually just give birth to twins, if I saw that right. Let's keep converting our citizens to um, to Hellenic religion. We lost some research points, but that's okay, because our research is not too bad at the moment. It's not too bad. Yeah, let's keep converting citizens. Make sure everybody, at least in our capital state, is is mostly Hellenic. At least the citizens that we have are Hellenic. We could have could have fired an omen, but I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Um, the omens really aren't that great right now. We really should focus more on internal stability and, and converting people to Hellenism and, and that sort of thing. Let's see, this governor here... He's... Eh. We got a couple governors that aren't exactly the best of friends with us. Actually, most of our governors... We have three governors, I believe. Yeah, so we have this guy. 
this guy and this guy. Their loyalty is dropping, so... Could bribe them. We have some corruption involved, unfortunately. Don't want to give free hands either. I think, honestly... I think bribing may actually be the fastest way to secure their loyalty, so we'll, we'll probably do that sometime in the future. Let's keep taking a look at some of these trade routes. We do need to make sure we're, we're staying on top of that. Let's see here. So we have a lot of freemen and we have a lot of slaves here. Actually thinking the hemp may be a bad idea. We can actually get earthenware back in... In Bactra. Let me see. Oh, we're importing two, two things of hemp here? Really? Oh. Yeah, no. I could use that earthenware. If they'll give it to me. Hold on a minute. Why, why can I release... Why can I import it from here? Kandara to Bactria. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I see why. Wait, where is Kandara? So Kandara's here. Okay, so we already have hemp here. Right? Surplus of earthenware plus the earthenware. That's why. So that's, that's why we're... Okay, I get that now. So we can actually move that earthenware. No, we don't actually want to move it to Bactria. That would not be very useful. So we're already importing hemp into this province. I'm thinking in that case then maybe something else would be better. Freeman promotion cost isn't bad. Gets more citizens. Okay, I'll take that. And then let's find out over here, Bactria. Oh, nope. Gotta wait for a second. Let's see, we're going to get some popularity and we're going to get some prestige. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Let's go and go on speed 5 here for a little while. Um, we're really just going to be doing some sieges, nothing major. It's going to be happening here. Uh, we got some of these guys. I'm going to see if I can settle them. I don't really want to send troops up north to go deal with that. It's just, it's going to take too long. We're concerned with the... Um, Concerned with the solicits right now, so I don't exactly have time to spare. Let me see if that will settle. Are they willing to settle? Create a client, demand surrender. Could pay him off. It's a little expensive, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not too bad. They're not willing to settle mainly because of our strength. We're not strong enough to kind of scare them. We do have a little bit of a deficit. It should clear itself up, though, in a little bit. We're not losing that much money, actually. We gain about four decades a month, or four gold per month. And we're also taking quite a few slaves, which is good for us. Actually, I'll keep you... Let's go... Let's have you go there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Research points. Ugh. All right. I thought we just occupied that. Didn't we? I swear we did. Okay, so Sigarsha is over here. We've occupied um, most of that area. Let's keep a reserve up here. Then we're just going to keep pushing west. I really don't think the Solicids are in much of a position to resist us. The Rebellion's actually winning, as far as War Score is concerned. So we need to make use of... Um, of these guys' weakness. Let's see. Bactria. What can I get in Bactria? Um, how many slaves do we have here? Bactria. We actually have quite a few. 53 slaves. Okay, so let's let's grab some hemp for, this, for the slave output. What else can we get here? We have a lot of freemen. A lot of tribesmen here in Sogdiana. Um, wild game would be good for them. Well, the game, we have a pretty even assortment of bobs here in Ferrana. Hmm. Wow, 32 tribes in here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what to get here. I'm honestly thinking just some livestock, maybe. Just... Just, I mean, vegetables too for the supply limit, but we're not going to be fighting wars out here. 
Um, stone is good for the fort defense. So maybe that's not a bad idea. And then here in tra Transoxus. Um, honestly, just probably some grain would be fine. I mean, the more... Those, those goods do help our population growth, but really, they're just helping us get money. You know, just to get some cash coming in. So, we do have a few Parthians here, though. Let's see, what's up with these guys? They're, they seem to be fairly scared of us. Yeah, they don't seem all that interested in attacking me, so... I'm going to move this army up here to the city of uh, Kushmikin. And we're just going to kind of sit tight there. Um, let's see if we can promote some more some more freemen here. Couple status here. Okay. So there are no freemen in our capital state. We now have almost exclusively Let's see, what's the population growth here? Um, we have almost exclusively just just citizens here. Um, we do have slaves as well and tribesmen. There's a few tribesmen. We might want to move the tribesmen out of the capital state. It would make room for, for other types of pops. Um, either freemen or slaves. So, that might not be a bad idea. Let's see, Minister of Excellence. Um, yeah, we'll take that. National tax. Yeah, plus 10%. I'll take that. Yeah, remind me to keep an eye on these governors. We gotta keep an eye on these guys, because some of them are becoming fairly disloyal. There's some corruption here. Um, I mean, our ruler, to be fair, is quite is quite corrupt as well. So. Um, our son has fallen ill. That's not good. He's a primary heir. He's got infection, so we should should get some treatment for him. Let's see. Got the Olympic Games again. We're going to send this guy, uh, Arshada. He's younger. So I think he's a good candidate. Oh, damn. <laughs> Check that out. Our, our, um, our athlete died. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, it looks like we're going to win here. So I'm actually just going to go ahead. What's the, what's the tactic we're going to use? Shock action? Okay. Because this is heavy infantry, heavy cavalry, and horse archers. Oh, that's true. So this is a light cavalry force. That is true. Okay, we'll actually move these guys to the west then. Yeah. We should be able to move out there with no attrition. These guys are going to get destroyed. This is camels, heavy cavalry, light uh, cavalry, and light infantry. Nice. See, Pissuri Revolt wants our livestock. Okay, that's fun. Uh, we actually make some pretty decent money now that we're not paying anything for the for the solicits. Yeah, taxes is still where we make most of our money because we have a lot of slaves, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we have light infantry troops plus the heavy infantry here in the western flank. Um, can we get any more trade routes? No, no we can't. So now we can go for inventions. I'm thinking something with either happiness or research. Siege ability comes in handy. That's also useful. Capital port routes. Um, let me take let me take primary culture happiness for now. I'll probably grab that national population growth next. Yeah, because we we still need to improve our research. Yeah, and, and if I can, sometime in the future, I need to get my hands on some more papyrus. Um, becoming friends with Egypt would probably be smart in that regard. It's outside of our diplomatic range. Yeah, that's true. So we can't. Is there anybody else with papyrus around here? We need those research points. It's kind of important. Moria does have it. So I'm in relations with him. Moria does have papyrus. Maybe he'd be willing to give it to us. There's there's honestly no guarantee that he would. Let's see. Scythian local power shul wants our leather. Okay. So every every trade route gets us about half a half um Half a unit of gold per month, which is pretty good. So, like, look at all these exports and look at all these imports. We're just making fat cash. That's good. And we're getting a shit ton of slaves right now. Um, the cultural conversion is slowly but surely happening. It's actually happening at a pretty decent pace. Um, at least in our capital provinces, it's not too bad at all. 
Could be much worse. Capital state should all be Hellenic, so we're going to try and make that happen to the best of our ability. Uh, let's see, Parnia wants our furs from Sogdiana. That's fine, so Parnia's over here. He's actually fairly strong. This is the um, tribal chief of, yeah, of Parnia. I'm thinking, what I, what I think we're going to do here is we're going to likely annex Parthia and maybe Area. Um, because there's a lot of territories here that the solicits don't control, so they can't even, you know, cede it to us. So, we're gonna need to just kind of keep, keep working on, on sieges and such. Um, there's really not too much we can do. We're not really burning that much manpower, though, which is good. Oh, really, guys? Fucking really? They're attacking, they're attacking the, um, the, the territories that have occupied now. You sons of bitches. That is fucking unfortunate. <laughs> uh, let's see, tribal people regressed, or request migration. Um, I could use the money right now, to be fair. I think I will let them go. That's fine. It's kind of unfortunate, though. Um, Okay, I'm going to get this guy started on the siege, and then we're going to move another guy over here. What? How is that possible? These guys can already build roads? Are you serious? How do they have roads? Look at that. They got roads right here. Wow. That's crazy. I have no idea how they pulled that off. You fucking... Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on a minute. Okay, so you guys made peace. Okay, so I think they, they conceded defeat. Okay. Uh, all right. The game's changed a little bit. So now we have to go occupy the rest of this. Sigarsha's still over here. He's got a truce with the solicits. Um, in that case, then, I'm going to get you started on that siege. I'm going to get you to, to stay and reinforce this army. And then we're going to send you guys this way to go um, secure area. Yeah, solicits are dismantled, dude. He's probably lost like 2,000 people right now. He lost 2,000 pops. Um, siege ability, I think. We do need the siege for now. Let's reaccess. That's fine. Yeah, we'll keep you here just in case he decides to transcend any mercs or anything against us. Um, we'll siege these two down. We'll, we'll, like I said, we'll probably fully annex. Can I catch that guy? Where's he going? He might be going for these guys. Damn, that was a quick siege. Guess we do have to move around here. So I, I definitely want Parthia. If we can get area, I'll take it. I mean, we don't exactly need it right now. We don't really exactly need it at this moment, but I mean, I'm willing to take it. If if we can get it, I'll take it. Um. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna take a little bit of attrition on the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go ahead and start sieging that down. We have to watch out for the solicits, though. Let's see who are these guys? Fucking assholes. Alright, fine. Come get me. The last of the Agraspides. Let's see. We have rumors that one of the fabled silver shields, the backbone of Alexander's army, have been uh, has been seen traveling through Bactria. Let's see. They have not often been seen after they betrayed Eumenes by handing him over to Antigonus as a unit was split up and dismissed by the general. Okay, let's invite him to join a court. Yeah, sure. Let's see if we'll come on, come on by. <clears throat> so he's he's actually probably gonna go siege some of this back, which is fine, because we have, we still have to secure the province for ourselves. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be able to do just that. We're getting started on this siege. Twenty day siege ticks. Not bad. Not bad. He's probably gonna. Oh no, he's gonna come over here. Little bastard, Parthia. He's a shit. Motherfucker, really, dude? Come on. This fucking bullshit mechanic. I swear. Like, I, I don't understand why it why it thinks that... Paradox, really, you gotta fix this. So, it doesn't reset the timer. Like, for example, when Sigarsha made peace and these 
these provinces that were occupied by Sagarsha were, were, you know, their occupations were lifted. It doesn't take that in, into consideration in my war. It still thinks, oh, you've just been taking forever to get the war going. It's like, no, dude, that's that's not what's been happening here. I've, I've been trying to get this, you know? And it was occupied by another foreign power. Like, come on, don't be, don't be doing that to me. It's kind of fucking annoying. Okay, so we got a full occupation now of uh, of this guy. Well, almost, because we still have some some places out here. Okay, so you guys take all that. Actually, we'll move you guys over here. Okay, so, um, let's see, Omen Bauer, National Population Growth. Let's see, research is actually really good now. Let's see, military tech investment. I'll take, I'll take the capital import route real fast. Let's see if there's anything we can get. Could you get some more hemp? Or so surplus than capital livestock. Could do livestock. We already have a surplus of livestock here, though. Stone isn't bad for local fort defense. Getting some more step horses would give us horse archer discipline. <clears throat> yeah, sure, why not? We'll take the stone from Bakria. That's fine. I'm not entirely sure where that guy's going, but whatever. All right, guys. Just a little faster on the sieges, please. Thank you. Parnia wants to trade with us. He wants our leather. That's fine. That's cool. So these these fucking Okay, so we can't occupy that, right? I don't think so. I know, so you guys you guys go over here. You guys come over here. I don't think we're allowed to occupy that. Because we already paid off the we paid off the barbarians. Are you serious? He's going up here for a siege? Wow, what the fuck? Okay, so we have, um, oh, okay, we got a succession. Okay, stability drop. Let's see. He's the researcher. He's loyal. Demand support for error. Okay, so we do have a succession. So we are now ruled by this guy, Archidemus Sufted. He's the best lace of Bactria. Um, he's a 6806. Oh my god. Really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he is ill. We do need to seek treatment for him. We'll go and do that now because we have some money available. Okay. Let's see. Dewan gets preparing for war. I'll take it. Okay. No, we don't want that. I need these areas, though. Okay, so we can occupy this. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We're going to send this guy up north, I think. Really fast. Um, they actually may take that fort. Let's see. This guy, the governor. Okay, so this governor's died. Oh, shit. Local fort defense? Might be able to use that. No, this guy's a 13... That guy's fucking awesome. He's a 13 level uh, governor right there. Um, I'm going to throw on Borderlands real fast because we do need it. We're going to get some tyranny, but it's kind of important right now. We're going to force march my ass over here, and then we're going to occupy the rest of this, and then we'll annex it. Okay, so we've got to move, move this way. we got to at least take that. I'm actually just going to move some troops there right now. After that, we can make a peace. Um, these guys want our furs. That's fun. Holy shit, dude. We're going to get a lot of aggressive expansion for this. It's going to be painful. <clears throat> but, we but we need it. We need to have it happen. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I will take that aggressive expansion impact then. Just because, I mean... We're, we're going to have some happiness issues if we don't play this carefully. Um, let's go boost our stability to plus one. Okay. So let me see. What is he willing to do here? So let me reset this. We can take all of... We can take all of area. 
We can take all of Parthia. Um, I wouldn't mind some money. I'm not sure if he's going to give me that, though. He's going to give me some. Okay, so he's wanting to give me he's wanting to give me area. He's wanting to give me all of Parthia, which is a client state. And we get 134 gold. It's worth 49 war score. He's, he's only, we only have 27. And the longer we actually control this, You know what, actually, um, we're going to wait here for a second. Let's be patient, because I think the longer we control it, the more war score we have, and we can get more out of them, to my knowledge. So, let's try it. There's, we don't exactly have, you know, there's not a huge reason that we need to rush things right now, so let's be patient. Okay, and then we'll, we'll actually probably strike at some of these small guys. In. I could actually take that as well. Motherfucker, I wonder if we're going to get there. Arcanimus the weak willed. Apparently our Basileus is weak willed now. It's unfortunate. What's our legitimacy? 64? Okay. It's going down. Let's see, support for pretenders, brilliant popularity. Could hold games. Uh, it's actually not too bad. We'll hold some games. Okay, so we can stack wipe that army. Okay, so we stack wipe those troops. Solicits are on very low. Are on low enthusiasm here. He still controls his capital though, which is um should be the, the city over here of Silicaea. Apparently it's being sieged down. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. So we could we could still let the war goal just kind of tick by. I mean, if anything, what what I'm actually kind of thinking about doing. So we have this. We have we have the rest of Kumasin. Oh, Kumasini. I guess you would say it is. We have so we have the rest of um, Trexiani and then Kumasini. Um, that are solicit territories. So, you know, actually, I think that's exactly what we're going to do here. I think we're going to annex all of this and all of this because he's he's cut off. These are exclaves, right? This and this are solicit exclaves. He doesn't own those anymore. Or, or they're, they're not attached to his main... You know. They're not attached to his main... Um, I can't appoint my... I can't appoint my, my ruler as, right? Because he's, he's not old enough. Yeah. So make sure you see what would that cost. Let's go get this. So right now that's 40 grist of expansion. Let's see, can I get another general? Got yeah, this guy. Okay. See, this guy is done. He was our philosophos. Philosophus. Pick that guy. Um, how are the governors? Yeah, his governors are getting disloyal. Come over here, Malaya. City games in Bactra. I will take it. I was going to need that, actually, to be fair. Got some civic advances. Let's take this.
Do we have to occupy it all? Why can't we take it? Should be able to. <coughs> yeah, so we're about to be at, at max war score here. Let's take the rest of this. See what's up. Let's see, turbulent priests. Uh, two loyalty for a hundred gold. God damn. It's a hairy offense. Nah, I'll let him complain. That's fine. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Damn, this guy's 13 finesse. Holy shit. Um, he's the governor of Himalaya. He's the son of the researcher. I'll send this guy, I guess. To try. Well, this guy's. I don't know. I guess. Well, I guess I'll send that guy. This, my, this was my my governor. He was a friend of the governor of Parnia. This guy's a founder. Effects of governor research points, unfortunately, but we do. He does. Well, actually, he gets he's with the loyalty. That's not bad. Uh, let me actually I'm gonna leave this office open for a second I think and we're gonna see if that 13 if that tur uh, 13 finesse guy comes back and I'll appoint him if he's back from the Olympics or he wins maybe I'll appoint him for it Antiochus Soter Solicin. Okay. Holy god damn. So we get all of this and 425 gold. And he's just like, yeah, you can have it. Holy shit, we become a major power after that. That's fucking nuts, dude. Wow. We're on the we're we're on the same level as like Armenia and Phrygia and the rest of these guys. No, we're actually bigger than Phrygia. We're bigger than Macedon. We're bigger than um, Rome. We're on the same level as Egypt. Dude, that is fucking crazy. Um, let's see the Parthian elite. We do need more more popularity, but also the aggressive expansion reduction because we're right now we're getting minus forty five percent to wrong culture group happiness for this. Okay, so we've increased in rank and are now major power. Um, since we have now at least 100 cities, we can guarantee the countries threaten war, support rebels, and have alliances. We also get two capital import routes, diplomatic relations, diplomatic range, governor bonus multiplier, and change governor policy cost. Okay. That was incredible, dude. Let's go and dismiss a couple of generals, though. Make sure nobody comes too loyal to them. So, yeah. Um, that was kind of a big deal. Let's see. We do control quite a a fucking massive realm now. We lack a governor of Ariana. Let's see who was willing to take the position. This guy here, he's not too bad. Monthly popularity, local slave output, so I'll take that. We do, like I said, we still have a few issues with... In particular is... We have some issues with, with province loyalty. Um, I'm considering maybe moving some of these to local autonomy. They're actually not too bad. This one's fairly low, but other than that, most places are actually fairly okay on loyalty. These, these are decreasing quite quickly, though. Mm, keep an eye on things. Actually, no, I can assign you to the governor. Yeah. Do that. Capital regions. This is Bactriana. We signed, we signed this guy to Parthia. Um, the governors are a little disloyal. What else? This is Sogdiana. I think I could move this army up here to Sogdiana. Where's a good place? Like a good city. Really, there's actually not much. Yeah, so Parthia actually had the most amount of pops. Look at that. 136 slaves, 73 citizens, 144 freemen, 90 tribesmen. Damn, dude. Some crazy shit right there. Let's 
see you guys are shock action. I'm trying to find a place to put you. Ooh, there we go. Alexandria. Ooh, so. Olympics have concluded. Alright. So now we can appoint this guy. Uh, yeah, where's my, what was my level 13 guy? Holy shit, our technology went in the dumps after that. My god. So we can get earthenware? We can't get papyrus, though. It's unfortunate. Yeah, the uh, Morians won't give it to us either. They dislike us. Can we maybe get it from the Egyptians? No, he's actually out of, out of my diplomatic range, so I can't even trade with him either. Alright, we'll take the earthenware then. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to that, that level 13 guy, but oh well. Let's see if we can afford another military tradition. Um, Let's grab the, the Bactrian horseman, the light cavalry discipline. That's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to walk this guy over here to, um, to help out with some of the loyalty of this province here. Uh, we got a slave revolt where? Oh. Okay. We're going to be able to deal with that? I hope so. Um, we'll take that wrong culture happiness. Let's see, we can call down an omen. National unrest might not be too bad of an idea. We have a lot. Holy fucking god. <laughs> we have a shit ton. Okay. I think so. God, dude, even in even in Bactria itself, look at that. It's crazy. That shit's going down fast. <clears throat> yeah, let's move let's move people to local autonomy, I think. Um damn, that's going down fast. Yeah. I think we have to get this, um... Holy shit. It's just because the unrest. Holy shit, that's a lot. Going on super fast, okay. Where the hell's he going? Oh. Shit, alright. Yeah, man, if you're gonna go up there. Be my guest, I suppose. Damn, this guy's not in Sagdiana. Shit. Gotta go up here somewhere. This place, yeah, we'd take attrition there. Yeah, these these heavy this heavy infantry force is pretty good. It's just they're they're super they're heavy for as, as far as attrition is concerned. Let me split it. I'll give you Let's see, the epic writer. Alright. Okay, so we destroyed the slave revolt, I think, anyway. It went somewhere. Kind of interesting. Okay, so, yeah, most of these guys are okay. Um, actually, by giving these guys low cohorts, it's actually commanding... It's increasing their um, their loyalty to me, which is good. Um, we're getting some of the unrest down. There's a lot, like, around here. Let's see. So, Bactria. Um, it really doesn't make sense to have this, necessarily. Let the civilization change. Still thinking, well, no, maybe religious conversion might not be bad. Holy god. Let's see if we can maybe do some conversions. Let's 
some assimilation may go a long way as well. Because, <laughs> um... Yeah, we could use more happiness. A lot of people are mad. Yeah, we got a lot of provinces of local autonomy. Like, Jesus, this one's dropping really fast. I don't have enough civic power to change it, though. I'm actually curious, can you guys become loyal to governors? I'm actually kind of curious if that's able to happen. I don't know. An unmarried ruler? Let's go into range marriage, shall we? In fact... I know, yeah, it's kind of it's, it's a little strange, isn't it? That you can't... You can't marry people that aren't in your own country? Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so we just need... No, we, just, we we actually can't. Never mind. So we can't. Okay. So let's see if we can make that happen. We need a new researcher for civic advances. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We'll put this guy in charge. The, the 13 finesse guy is back. Sweet. Yeah, let's try and see if we can get a marriage with... Um, Let me see if I can get a marriage with Chandra Gupta. Let's see, he's got a wife here. She's content. She's righteous and zealot. This, yeah. Can I arrange marriage? Damn it, more is a Vinya Batra has to be greater or equal to 70. He hates us, dude. Holy shit. Alright. Well, let's sort the women in our country by age. This woman's not too bad. She's honest and pious. I'll take it. Let's see, we do need some more import routes. Here we have a lot of tribesmen. Can we get anything for for the tribesmen? We have a lot of slaves here as well. Some hemp may do us some good. Let's see here, we got Freeman tribesmen. I'm thinking grain might just be something real easy to, to import there. Let's see, this is tribesmen, slaves, freemen. Could import earthenware here. Wow! 51 Freeman over here, holy shit. Hmm. I guess some marble will do. Okay. Yeah, so our technology is in the shitter now, because, um... Of our research ratio. Thank God we don't, know, we don't have an infection anymore. Okay. So, besides unrest, we're actually doing relatively okay. In most places. Um, Loyalty is improving over here. We need to probably change this a little bit. I'm not even sure if Kamisani has any tribesmen. Yeah, it does. The civilization ever is only really useful when there's people with tribesmen. Or places with tribesmen. Uh, I probably need to throw in local autonomy here. So, let's do that. Ah, damn it. We really don't generate that much civic power. It's gonna... It's, it's It might become very acutely a problem, to be honest. Um, so this is kind of interesting. So our output from, from taxes has decreased quite a bit. And our commerce income is actually greater. So it actually makes me want to kind of move over to complex tariffs. National commerce income plus 20%. What else could we do here? We're still in the morale of armies. State religion. That's, that's super useful. 
Don't necessarily need real popularity gain. This guy's pretty loyal. Or pretty, um... Uh... God, you have an infection and you're depressed? What the hell happened to you? Ooh, yes, please. Okay, we're still running a national epic. Yeah, I don't know. National slave output. Well, how many how many slaves do we have? We have 435. Okay, so we have more slaves than we do citizens. So... slaves than we do citizens. So, I mean, that's the thing is, it's kind of hard to, you know, as far as our output, it's actually kind of hard to say what we should do. Hmm. Let's see. I'm actually going to get, yeah, let's get a new doctor. Somebody who's better. This guy's probably fine. So we're depressed, and we have an infection that we still have not cured. I thought we cured that. I thought I just got an event literally to cure that. No idea. Okay, so these are all going up except for this. It could do better there. Area, area could also probably use... Yeah, because it's part of Ariana, so you could actually use some troops. Okay, we'll probably, we'll probably do that. Uh, we don't have a lot of manpower. Get some grain over here. Um, there's really not much here in Urkani we can get. Oh, I'll, I'll just do some livestock, just to make it kind of simple. Okay, and then this place, you need local autonomy. Yeah, so aggressive expansion, it does hurt, especially because we have a lot of people that aren't in our culture group, so it's it's painful. But uh, slowly but surely, we're converting people to Macedonian and Hellenic. Slowly but surely. Hey, we're having some kids now. Got a daughter. Sweet. Yeah, I got. I got to keep an eye on. Um, yes, we lost um, the infection trait. I guess we're still depressed, here, apparently. Let's see. Murder. Caught in the despicable act of murder. Spitimines Orzon stands before a benevolent ruler. His head hung in shame. Are you serious? This guy killed somebody. Wow. Okay. It's kind of crazy. Ooh. All right. I'll put you. So we need a new researcher. An oratory researcher. Nope. He's a pretender. We don't want him. I'll put that guy in charge, though. Range gladiatorial debut. Let's see. The cult of fortune settles down. Let's see. The cult of Tish. Or Taiki, I guess. Later, we've seen growing numbers of people following Taiki, seeking the fortune of the gods. Ooh. Okay. I think we are going to take that. Let's see. We will gain popularity based on the outcome of this match, and the winner of the fight will be released from prison. I'm pretty sure this guy absolutely will lose. We can't. Oh, that's true, though. Yeah, banish. Gets banished to Kamahani. I mean, we're not at risk of any civil war. I mean, this guy's in prison, so. Okay. Yeah, this this is going down. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Let's see. The epic finish. Apparently, this story was just, like, ass. So he's like, is that it? <laughs> that's funny. Let's see. Slave and Rush. National Slave Happiness. Oh, that makes sense. Because I was going to say, there was... Let's see, where the hell are these barbarians?
Yeah, we need that mother loyalty. Because I was going to say, okay, so there's, there's, there's guys here. Move you guys over here. Because I'm pretty sure I remember, um... So they're not willing to settle. We can't man surrender. Rockmonger cities. No, I don't want to pay them off. We're going to have to probably kill these guys, unfortunately. This fucker's going to make it pretty far, though. Ugh. I swear, man. There's there's not even a... There's no delay between when these guys occupy and when they move. It's just some bullshit. You see, the Greco-Persian city. Legacy of Alexander still lingers in her nation. As many Greco-Persian cities are struggling to find a way to deal with their culturally and religiously diverse populations. Let's see, Hellenistic bonds? Yeah, that's fine. We don't need the civic power right now. You fucking asshole barbarians, I swear. I hate you guys! Holy shit, these are not barbarians! Dude, check it out, these guys have three heavy infantry, five heavy cavalry, and two archers. Horse archers. What the fuck kind of barbarians have that kind of equipment? I mean, for God's sakes, they look like Germanics, not Persians. Jesus Christ, folks. Lo and behold. The the barbarians with military-grade equipment. <laughs> Who's this guy? So, this guy's a lunatic, and this guy's cancer. So, they're both gonna die. So I'm not gonna do shit about their loyalty. They're both on the way out. Damn! Our Philosophos died in some vile plot. Holy shit. Okay. God, these barbarians, holy shit. Let's see, um, the general of the 8th army, 8th Stratos, and I are beginning to become friends. Sounds good. Assyria wants to import some metals. Take it. You fuckers. What the hell is this? Where are you going? Ooh. No, I'm going to send this guy. He's in front of the governor of Parthia. <laughs> I'm going to send him because this guy's too important. He's got 13 finesse, dude. <laughs> I'm just not going to get rid of that guy just because. No way. He's too important. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can dismiss him. You can belong back to the army now. We're to the bronze. Okay, slowly but surely. Yeah, so I was going to say, um, the reason why... there, So you see here, this is occupied by slave rebels, right? So we destroyed the slave rebel stack, but this was never liberated. So I'm kind of curious. I'm actually kind of curious if... Because we have this modifier. Um, where is it here? Yeah, National Slave Unrest. If we were to get that event where we destroyed the slave rebels, or the slave revolt... Then we wouldn't we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> so friends in high places? Sure. Okay, so there we still have a few places that are dropping in loyalty. Um other places it's not as bad. It's going down, but slowly. Slowly. We'll change some of these policies here pretty soon. Once they get to like fifty. We'll have to kind of move things around. Let's move a few guys into Bactra, because um, we do have a lot of citizens around here. So, research will go up slowly but surely.
Okay, so all the citizens here are Hellenic and Macedonian. Then we're gonna now we're gonna work all like over here a little bit. Um, this city is actually particularly important because we do have. This is gemstones. Oh shit, that's local tax. If we get slaves there. This is gemstones. Damn, we only need thirteen slaves for that. Not bad. Hey, I might want to move some slaves over there actually. That's pretty fucking decent. We do have a lot of money as well, so we should consider building some more structures, but... I'm going to take a break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.